G'day YouTube, hope all is well. Okay guys, today I'm gonna do a video on this Anchor 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. It boasts a 22 and a half watt output. It comes with the built-in USB-C cable, which is there. That works for both input and output. The unit itself is, it's well made. It's about the size of a pack of cigarettes. So it's quite compact. It even got a handle formed by the USB-C cable. I'd probably still prefer to carry it by the body. Now this is a third power bank I've purchased. I've developed a fetish for power banks for some reason, but I thought I would give this one a try. Okay, we'll dive in. We'll see how this thing is for capacity and how it performs. This was the listing on amazon.com.au. Okay, so the unit was $69.99, and I had a voucher for $10, I think it was. I'm not a Prime member, so if you're a Prime member, I think you got it for $49.99 or something like that, but that's, it was $69.99, and I got a, oh, I got the free delivery because it's over $54, and then I got a voucher for $10. So it cost me $59.99, so $60. Now, this is the box that came in. Now, pretty much, you got the unit and you got a safety sheet. I will talk about this as much as you will be reading it. So I'll just give you a comparison there to an iPhone 6 Plus. That is it there. So it's quite compact, four or five times as thick as the phone. Okay, you got the USB out. USB-C in and out, and of course you've got the cable built in. This is in and out as well. Now I'll show you what it can do. So I'll use the built-in cable. So I'll bring the iPad over. So you don't have to turn the unit on. So once you push the power button, it shows you the state of charge. That's 48%. And if you double tap the power button, it goes into like a low power mode. So that green light on there. And if you push and hold the power button, it turns off. But there's no need to turn the unit on when you plug it in to charge something. So there's my iPad, the unit's off. So I'll plug it into my iPad Pro and you'll see the unit just turned on by itself. So there's the iPad charging. So here's an iPhone 6 Plus. I'll plug that in with the USB-C. The USB fan, so. Let's turn that on. Got the iPad charging. Okay, got the iPad charging. Got the iPhone charging and the fan's running. So it runs three devices at the same time. It's got this little, it's like a, this little slide out on the bottom. Now I think that's like a, a phone rest. You put your phone there and you can watch your phone, like if you wanna watch a video or something on your phone. That holds your phone up. That's like a little holder. If you're sitting at a table or something, you're having your lunch and you're watching a, a movie or something, that's what that's for. So yeah, it's a good little um, feature and that just slides away when you're not using it. Okay, now what's left to show you, I will charge this unit up and we'll do a capacity test on this unit. I'm running this fan. We'll see how long this thing runs that fan for and how many milliamp hours come out of this power pack. Okay viewers, now I've charged this Anchor 20,000 milliamp power bank. Charge it up. You see that's 100%. Okay, I'm going to plug in. There we go. There's the meter. Right, now I'm going to reset it. Reset. USB fan, plug it in. Okay, and we'll see 
how many milliamp hours we get out of this running the fan. I'll come back at the end when it's done. Okay, viewers, we've come to the end of the test. Well, this is two days on. Now, I wonder if there's any more power. Okay, it's flat. Okay, it has cut out. So now I'm gonna have to take the, um, the little USB reader off. I'll plug it into another USB port and we'll see what the reading is on the meter. So I'll disconnect the fan. I'll disconnect the meter. So there's nothing. As you see, it's dead flat. It wouldn't even read. Okay, I'll just plug this into another USB. Okay, so there is the capacity of the anchor 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. It ran the fan for 31 hours and 37 minutes. And we have a capacity of 14,028 milliamp hours. So that's what you can expect out of this unit. Okay, now I'll charge the anchor. So we've got the 0%. I'll plug it in. Now this is with the cable attached to the unit. I'll plug it into the USB-C and we'll see what power goes into it. That's the anchor plugged in. Okay, now we're looking at the output down the bottom. We're not looking at the top one. So 19 watts is going in to the anchor. Okay. And there it is charging off the USB-C with 19 watts. So I'll take note of the time on how long it takes. But I, do, I would say it'll take a fair while charging at 19 watts. Okay, viewers, in 10 minutes, it has charged up 4%. Okay, viewers, in half an hour, it's up to 12%. So every 10 minutes, it charges 4%. So you can probably expect this to charge fully around four hours, 15 minutes. Okay, I found using a USB-C to USB-C cable, so not the cable attached to the unit, you can get it to charge at 20 watts. That's the fastest I found you can get this to charge. Okay, viewers, now as for the output, I'm just charging my iPad with the USB-C cable from the anchor. Okay, now I've just got this other tester here. So I've got 19, say, 0.2 to 0.3 watts coming out to charge my iPad. That's going through the USB-C. That's the most power I can get out of it. There's a low power mode. If I double click the power button, So now I've double clicked the power button. All of a sudden it's only putting out 15.3 watts charging the iPad. Now I found to go back to high power mode, you had to switch the unit off and then turn it back on to get back into the high power mode. That's what I found with this unit. No instructions with this unit, but um, yeah, that's what I found. Okay, the capacity of this unit reached 14,000 milliamp hours. Though it should have been 15,400, despite this, it's a solid little unit. In fact, it's the highest capacity unit I've tested so far. Overall, it's quite good and seems reliable to me. Okay, guys, to wrap this up, the Anchor 20,000 milliamp hour power bank is impressive. Now, this thing's perfect for travel, whether you're on a plane, train, bus, riding a scooter, riding a push bike, it'll keep your devices powered. Now this is probably the highest capacity power bank I've tested so far. It's been great with charging my iPad and phone without any issues and feels pretty sturdy. 
If you're looking for a reliable power bank, this one is excellent for your devices. The recharge time is pretty reasonable. So if you have an iPhone 15 or similar with a USB-C connector, you're laughing. You won't need any additional cables, okay? But if you have an, an earlier iPhone with the lightning connector or you've got the Samsung plug, um, you'll need an additional cable to plug in to charge your phone. So for around 60 bucks, it's a solid little unit. I'll do a follow-up video in about a year's time to see how it's going. You can't go wrong with this unit, for sure. So I hope this video has helped somebody out. Thanks for watching. Till next time, all the best. See you later. Bye.